Let us now look at model 1 from this topic of allegations or mixtures where we shall deal with questions based on simple mixtures. A simple mixture is the one that is obtained by combining two same or different ingredients. For example, wheat mixed with wheat to obtain a mixture of wheat or milk mixed with water to obtain a mixture of milk and water. Let's look at the first example. Now the question says, how much of salt at 42 paisa per kg must be mixed with 25 kg of salt at 24 paisa per kg so that a profit of 25% is obtained on selling the mixture at 40 paisa per kg. As you can see here, the question is based on combination of two different varieties of salt to obtain a mixture at a given price. Now the first quality of salt here is at 42 pies per kg and as you can see it is mixed with 25 kg of another variety of salt which is at 24 pies per kg and on mixing these two varieties of salt we can get a profit of 25 percent by selling the mixture at 40 pies per kg. So we need to find out how much of salt at 42 pies per kg. So what should be the quantity of salt at this price which has to be mixed with 25 kg of salt. Understand the quantity of the cheaper quality of salt is given and we have to find out the quantity of the dearer quality of salt which is again based on finding out the ratio. Once we get the ratio of the two quantities we can easily find out one of the quantities when the other quantity is given to us. So let's work out and find out what is the ratio in which the two qualities or the two varieties of salt have to be mixed together. But one important point that we need to understand here is that the selling price of the mixture is given that is 40 pies per kg. Remember whenever we apply allegation rule it is based on the cost price of all the ingredients right cost price of type 1 the cost price of type 2 and the cost price of mixture we cannot use 42 24 and 40 in the allegation rule because these two here are cost price and this here is the selling price right everything should be in terms of cost price so we'll first find out the cost price of the mixture from the given selling price and the profit so here we know that the profit is 25 percent and the selling price of the mixture is 40 pies per kg and as we have discussed in the introduction here we may need some basics of percentages and profit and loss so if you apply your basic knowledge of profit and loss you will be able to find out the cost price from the given profit percentage and the selling price so profit here is 25 percent and the selling price is 40 40 pies per kg 40 pies per kg. Now by using these two values we can say that the cost price will be equal to 32 paisa per kg. Cost price is going to be 32 paisa per kg. I am not discussing the complete uh, calculation there. You will be able to do that based on the knowledge that you have gained in the topic of profit and loss. Right? Simple calculation. Selling price is 40 paisa, profit is 25 percent. We very well know that if the profit is 25 percent, the selling price will be 125 percent of cost price. So 125 percent of cost price is 40. What will be the cost price? We will get it as 32 paisa per kg. Now we know that the cost price of the mixture is 32 paisa per kg. And now that we have obtained the cost price of the mixture, we can apply the allegation rule. So let's apply the allegation rule. The cost price of the dearer is 42. The cost price of the cheaper quality of salt is 24. And the cost price of the mixture is 32. Now when we take the cross differences, what do we get? 24 difference 32. See, never take negative value here. It is a difference, right? So we have to take the positive differences. So 24 difference 32 is 8 is to 42 difference 32, right? 42 minus 32 is 10. So we can say that the ratio in which the two qualities have to mix together is 8 is to 10, which is nothing but 4 is to 5. 8 is to 10 is equal to 4 is to 5. So the ratio in which the two qualities of salt must be mixed together to obtain the given quality of mixture is 4 is to 5. Now based on this ratio, we can find out the quantity of the cheaper quality of salt. Now we can say that the quantity of dearer quality of salt is to quantity of cheaper quality of salt should be in what ratio? 4 is to 5. 
you have to be careful while taking up this ratio it is not cheaper is to dearer it should be taken as dearer is to cheaper because we have taken dearer cost first and then the cheaper cost so the ratio will also be in the same order dearer is to cheaper quantity ratio so quantity of dearer is to quantity of cheaper is 4 is to 5 we also know that this quantity of cheaper quality of salt is 25 kgs so this part here is given to us 25 and we have to find out the quantity of dearer quality of salt so by substituting the value 25 here we get quantity of dearer by 25 25 kgs will be equal to 4 by 5 so from this we can say the quantity of dearer quality of salt this gets cancelled 5 times and 5 into 4 is 20 so this should be 20 kg so the quantity of the dearer quality of salt that is 42 paisa per kg should be 20 kgs so this when mixed with 25 kg of salt which is at 24 paisa per kg we get the given mixture which is sold at 40 paisa per kg to obtain a profit of 25 percent so this is how we can solve the questions based on mixtures using the allegation rule as shown here Please note that this question can also be answered by using the equation that we have discussed in the introduction part. So either you can use the equation or the pictorial representation of the allegation rule to get the required answer.